it could be that it finally gave out. We don't know. It's making a little bit of noise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joel with RVS Technology here to give you a little update about the Honda Civic that we've been driving for the past couple years without any engine oil. So, a lot, of you, a lot of you guys were wondering why we haven't driven it. Well, the reason is because it finally did break on us. So, we were driving and coming from a, an event that we drove quite a distance for, I think about 45 minutes. And, um, engine started making noise and we pulled over and then it actually died on us so uh, we think it's maybe stuck piston rings or a bearing or both uh, we haven't been able to get it to the lift yet or to a shop that we're gonna do an extensive teardown on it but um we did add oil to it another RVS treatment to see if we can get it running and it does but it seems it like loses compression once it gets hot so let me uh, I'll start up for you. It's a cold start, and that's when you can hear a little bit of this sound coming from the engine. All right. And you can hear that little rattle when it starts. It still revs and, and uh you take it for a little drive. It does actually drive. I don't want to drive it too much so we don't um, completely destroy it. But uh, we will be bringing out a video uh, showing what went wrong and uh, where it failed. And also, we can also show you the different uh, treated areas of the engine. Try to start it. Put the, uh, put this on. Well, it might have finally happened. Uh, we're on 995, and the car shut off. It was making a little bit of noise. I'm gonna go start it. See what happens. Some of the bearings we're giving out or something but we're gonna now add RVS to it and oil we're gonna run it a little bit and it'll be fine we'll see we've done 4,040 miles roughly with no engine oil all right so we uh, we put oil in it we did a G4 engine treatment on it now it seems like it's quieted down a little bit We're gonna let it idle for a little bit. Well, it seems um, it's up and running again. We're back on the highway. We didn't even let it idle more than five minutes. Um, but we might take it apart and see uh, what damage was uh, done. Or the car is struggling. Hmm. Oh, looks like this was our last trip together. Uh, the old trusty steed seized up yesterday on our 95. Um, started making all kinds of racket. We put oil in it, we put a G4 in it. Uh, we were able to make it home. I drove it around today, maybe 30, 40 miles, but it just looks like the rod bearings are completely gone. It's making uh, Ocon's racket. Uh, the, pretty sure the compression's low and it had a loss of power. Um, figured I was going to do some shopping with it. But here we are. So I think the next step is we're going to now tow it to our uh, warehouse. 
We're gonna find a good shop then who can do a, a teardown on the engine for us. And we're gonna check out what really happened and um, what everything is going on inside the engine. And also if there's any, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to see where RVS did uh, its magic on some of the parts. So we're gonna bring that to you guys and uh, stay tuned. Follow us on RVS USA on Instagram and RVS Technology USA on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.